This is Brent Grover speaking from Evergreen Consulting for Advanced Supply Chain Software powered by IBIS. This month's topic is revenue leakage, and this week we're going to talk about cutting out uh, below market pricing. But before we do, I want to ask you a question about the revenue leakage situation at your wholesale distribution business. Is this something that you're already working hard on at your company? Is it something you recognize as a need to focus on, but you know you can do better than you're doing now? Or is your company really sales focused to, to the extent that you think everything else will take care of itself? So depending on your situation, you may look at this a little differently. I have a list here of uh, potential sources of leaks, uh, ranging from pricing below market, which is this, this week's topic, to uh, overpaying your vendors for products, uh, providing services greater than those that your customers are really looking for, uh, asset shrinkage, excess capacity, wasting labor. But uh, let's focus this week just on uh, cutting out below market pricing. This is one of the things that you can address at your company. I'd like to talk about a couple of reasons of uh, how you can address that, a couple of ways you can do it. Uh, do you have a pricing system in your company? I, I know you have a, a system for a process for credit and for managing inventory and for managing uh, order processing and for hiring. But for most distributors, pricing is handled primarily by the sales force and typically without pr uh, market pricing information being available to them. And pricing is one of the functions, if in fact, maybe the, the most extreme example of a function within wholesale distribution that has limited oversight by management. So. Uh, do you have, uh, for example, a cost-based pricing system at your company that's fairly typical? Cost-based pricing is not really related to the value received by the customer. Uh, in fact, it's really disconnected from market value, and as a result, many times when distributors rely on a cost-based pricing scheme, uh, they're really uh, setting out a lot of prices into the marketplace that are below customer expectations, or actually below the customer's level of interest. Now think about that. Not every product is of equal interest to customers. There are products they buy infrequently or in small quantities that they don't really think about that much. So uh, cost-based pricing can lead to a lot of outliers, which is below market pricing. Another issue in wholesale distribution, and the reason the pricing process usually uh, doesn't work as well as it should, is that no one's in charge. There, there's no pricing coordinator there's somebody in charge of inventory, for example. There's a credit manager. There's somebody in charge of the warehouse. But there's nobody really in charge of pricing. That's largely delegated to the sales force through the sales manager. So there's a lack of responsibility and accountability for pricing. And we find as consultants that distributors with strong pricing coordinators typically have much more consistent pricing and they're more profitable. So uh, providing market pricing to the salespeople and managing margins is a tough job, and, and that happens to be the job of the pricing coordinator in, in well-managed distribution businesses. Now, the pricing modules that most distributors have uh, built into their ERP software, they typically have fairly, uh, fairly similar architecture. It's a hierarchical pricing module, module moving from uh, very specific prices, such as a specific price for this product for this customer, to uh, more broad definitions of pricing, such as pricing for all customers in this segment for this product, or possibly uh, prices for this customer for all products in this segment or this in this product group. Uh, but uh, the pricing module is typically underutilized, and one of the symptoms of that is where you have thousands or even tens of thousands of special pricing records in your system indicating that you're not using default or matrix pricing as much as you should. You're pretty much creating a lot of one-off pricing for uh, virtually every customer item combination you come up with. As a result, with all these uh, thousands or tens of thousands of special pricing records, we distributors end up honoring obsolete prices to our customers or finding ourselves locked into low margins uh, long after the need to be that competitive is, is gone. So we're suggesting that in wholesale distribution, like many other businesses, uh, we, we happen to spend more time, more attention paid on the prices we pay for the products that we buy than on the prices that we charge 
for the products that we sell. And to quote Winston Churchill, but he was talking about another subject, but uh, pricing for distributors is a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. So to wrap it up for, for this week uh, on uh, revenue leakage, uh, it happens in the best companies and even the best managed wholesale distribution businesses. We have so much to do in keeping track of our customers and our suppliers and our competitors, our potential competitors and the substitute products for those that we sell takes up all of our time. We allow these little leaks to happen and they become gushers. So next week we're going to talk about another revenue leakage opportunity and what you can do about it. Until then, this is Brent Grover from Evergreen Consulting for Advanced Supply Chain Software powered by IBIS.